Hey guys and welcome back to another Axis 72 video and in today's video I'm back with another interview and I'm here with Amar Akbar. Amar, how are we? Not too bad mate, how are you? I'm great thanks mate, thank you for coming on the channel. No worries man, I appreciate the time. Mm -hmm. Great, and so am I right in saying you're a 22 year old super lightweight who's 4-0? Yeah, 4-0 okay. now, yeah. Yes, great, okay, well if you are new around here and you haven't subscribed please do so like the video if you do need like the video and let's get straight into it. So, the question which I always like to start off with, why did you start boxing? Um, I started boxing, when I, I was quite young when I started boxing but it was because of my, like, my dad was into boxing, mm -hmm. he used to coach. Um, so I slowly got into boxing through that and then um, I had my first amateur bout at, I think, uh, about 13. Mm. Not looked back really, just carried on. Uh, won a few national titles, Yorkshire titles. Uh, did really everything I wanted to win the amateurs and then, yeah, just turned pro. Mm -hmm. And so how many amateur fights did you end up getting? Um, I had about 37, mm -hmm. 37 amateur bouts. Okay. Um, yeah, I did all right. I, I lost about five, mm -hmm. five, six. So, much about so I had all that career yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, definitely and so why did you end up turning professional when you did um I had um the senior elites so I got to the final in the senior elites um then I had a GB assessment mm -hmm. but uh COVID hit so right. I didn't I was just sat about really I didn't really know what was happening and then um I got the front warrant contract mm -hmm. and my end goal was always to turn pro so yeah. I thought I might as well turn pro and then just see how it goes from there so I just turned over in COVID. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. And so you so far have had the four wins. And so, what? Which fight would you say you've performed your best in out of them? Uh, they're all different, really, because um, I started off with my dad. I had my first fight with my dad because he, he trained me through the amateurs, and then uh, I moved in. I moved to Manchester with uh, Pat. Mm -hmm. So I'd say my last two performances were my best ones. Um, you know, just slowly getting into the pro style. You know, getting used to it and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to not rush my work, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'd mm -hmm. say my last two fights were probably my best performances. Definitely, and would you say that you are constantly improving throughout each fight then? Yeah, definitely. Now now I'm with Pat and that, like, I, I train with my dad and I train with Pat, it's just mixing it together really, and um, yeah, it's good man, I'm enjoying everything and just enjoying like mm -hmm. the pro professional scene really, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, and so what is it like working with Frank Warren and BT? It's good, it's good. Uh, they, they get me out, so it's good, man. And um, I asked to be on the Manchester show, on the Georgia show, and they got me out. So a big mm -hmm. shout-out to manager Sam and Leg for everything he does for me and stuff. So, yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was a great card to be on. And so when do you think you'll be back fighting again? Um, I've just got, like, a little, little hand injury. Like, my fingers just got a bad finger from my last fight. So mm -hmm. I'm just... Um, Whenever I don't know, maybe next early next year, maybe. Mm -hmm. But because um, I went into this fight with a little um, injury, so and so hopefully when this recovers and then I'm back in well, I'm back in training now anyway. So next year, hopefully sometime early sometime. Mm -hmm. Great. And so for anybody who might not uh, know who you are that are watching this, what kind of is makes you interesting as a fighter? Um, I say I c I can. I think I can box and fight. That's what I've always been known to. Like that's everything, mm -hmm. really, as a boxer. I, I think my ring IQ really. Mm -hmm. um, I can switch it up. Uh, however, the opponent comes, I think I can adjust to that style. Mm -hmm. Great. And so, is there any fighter which you could possibly compare yourself to stylistically? Um, I don't know. I won't really say. But I've, I tried. I try watching a lot. A lot of fighters like the Trent Crawfords, kind of old fighters too, and just try uh, mixing it together really, see what comes out. But um, obviously I'm just learning on the job at the moment. 37 fights is like, in the amateurs, not a lot. Mm. So I'm taking my time in the professional scene and then hopefully, you know, step up slowly, slowly and get to try to get to the top. Mm -hmm, definitely and uh, you are known as, and your nickname is The Prodigy, so I'm yeah. sure you believe you can go far in the sport. Yeah, definitely. Even as an amateur, like, my dad believed in me. I believed in myself, like, from my fifth fight, I was always in open class championships. I was fighting people with, like, 50-odd fights and stuff when I only had, like, 10. Mm -hmm. So I always I always believed in myself. And same in the professional scene, I believe in myself. But it's different in the professional scene because you need to take your time, you know. I'm taking my time, slowly adjusting to it. And uh, hopefully when, it, when the right time, when my trainer and my manager say, that's when I'll uh, step up. Mm -hmm, definitely. And so, so far, I mean, you've not had the, a crazy amount of fights, but you mm -hmm. are 
you, you you're like still young so when you when you're training every day and you said you're getting back into training now what kind of keeps you motivated I've all, I'm always training all year round so um just just staying fit really I like to stay fit I like to obviously um when the lads when I'm not fighting there's always lads in the gym fighting in uh, in past gym so I'm always helping them you know mm -hmm. training with them sparring with them mm -hmm. running with them so it just keeps me sharp all the time mm -hmm. definitely okay and so I'll leave with this final question which I always like to ask you've got a little bit of a platform here would you like to shout anything out uh, yeah, just big shout out to all my sponsors, main sponsors, Shimlers, you know, uh, for everything they do, um, you know, uh, Scan, uh, big shout out and just uh, everyone just add my Instagram, uh, Amar the Prodigy on Instagram, Facebook, Amar Akbar, and yeah, that's it, man. Mm -hmm. Great, okay, well, thank you very much for doing this interview, mate. No worries, man, anytime. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little bit further along down the line when you're fighting some more big fights, you can come back and do a return interview. Yeah, definitely. Just drop me a message and then whenever. Okay, great. Well, if you are new around here and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do need like the video. And thanks for watching.